I feel like this episode is going to be heartbreaking or heartwarming or some sort of really deep emotion because it's called To You, Comma, Someday. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 12. Last episode, we had one of the most heartbreaking episodes of this show. Like, I just felt so bad for Junpei. Everything he's going through... Uh, oh, I just, I, I want my man to be happy and live a very loving, healthy life. But it does not look like that's going to be the case. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's Yuji versus Junpei. Right now, Yuji doesn't want to fight him, though. We're in this little veil that Mahito created. Oh, my. We just have shit going on. I'm just going to hop into this episode. I can't wait any longer. Real quick, though, remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, like Black Clover, Haikyuu, many, many more to come in the future, we are four episodes ahead on that Patreon. Links are always down below for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon, it's not really your thing. If you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post. Then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 12, to you, someday. This is probably like five minutes before what happened with... With Junpei. Oh my god, he's back in the sewers dealing with his own issue. And he said wait, but Yuji ends up being at the school anyway, so he doesn't wait. Eno? Eno can handle the rest of these curses? Okay, Eno. Oh, uh, yeah, that sucks. After what happened last time with Yuji, I can understand why EGG would not want him to go, but oh my god, Yuji's just quick. I get both of them right here. I'm still so curious about the jellyfish too, man. Ah, I love the aquatic theme in the show. Ooh, this fucking this song that's playing sounds so badass. He really does have a jellyfish as his curse technique, and he has curse techniques? Like, what is this man's power? Oh, it's a Shikigami! Yeah, it sounds like he's been talking to Mahito a little bit, which we know. I'm just joking. You think that's stopping Yuji? Poison. Is that why the bully's skin was like that last episode? Oh, wow. And look at the little jellyfish right there. That's what he works on. The potency of the poison, the size and strength. Wow. Wow, and he has Mahito as a personal teacher. That's crazy. Give him a good punch. Come on. Junpei needs a solid punch to the face. Come on. Ugh. Little curse punch. I like it. It can cushion him from falls. It's very defensive and somewhat offensive. Shiki got me. I like it. I like its versatility. Oh, oh, no types. Look at my boy, Yuji. You are not getting him. Ooh. Fucking Gojo gave him some fucking advice against Shigami users. That's so cool. That's how it always goes. I said he needed a punch in the face. Oh, I love that shot. It's super sad, but I love that shot. Oh, I had a feeling he was going to let him after that. One of those main characters that needs to sit there and let you get all your anger out on us. Come on. They're willing to take it. I love anime main characters like this. 
なこと言ってた何があったか話してくれ That's a good dude, bro. 絶対に順平を呪ったりしない Telling you, Junpei, all you need is one good friend in the world, and Yuji can definitely be that for you. Oh, he didn't even know. I thought, I thought the news would have traveled. That's so sad, bro. I do feel like you'll fit in, Junpei. I feel like you'd be a great addition to the squad, I won't lie. I don't think he's gonna say yes, but I certainly hope he. Oh my. Ahito is 10 times stronger than Yuji at this point. This is not good at all. Yep, that's exactly what Nani, Nanami said. Yep. A patch face curse. Oh yeah. Even when he's trapped, he's still looking out for Junpei. I hate hearing this. I don't want to watch this show anymore. They're, they're gonna get him back, right? I don't. If Junpei actually dies like this, thanks. I'm I'm not watching the show anymore. I'm so pissed. He really did forget about the pact. Man, he is. That's a good observation because Mahito is over here actually listening in. So, uh, hmm, that's interesting because he. I swear they said that somewhere else before because there's curse techniques and then, I I don't know where I heard that but somebody said he's a reversed curse technique. Don't know what that means. He just said it again, Mahito. But I swear I've heard that earlier. But. Obviously, Yuji giving like a pact, which is a set in stone kind of thing, saying, I'll give you anything, just do this, and him refusing is kind of big. It kind of implies that he doesn't even have the power to do that, because why would you deny that pact? You have the power for everything. You know, you have control of, over Yuji and everything. So I love, I do like this observation from Mahito. Still, fuck Mahito. I'm just saying. A good observation. And I hate Sukuna right now, too. Both of these cursed, these curses just fucking, oh, I hate that shot. Yeah, at the end of the day, they're curses and you're weak, you know? You really can't save the people you care about, sadly. I hate that feeling of not being able to... This is like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Episode 4. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not going to spoil it, but if you know, you know. This is probably, this is horrible for me. I don't even want to look at this. I don't even want to look at this. I'm so serious right now. I still don't think Yuji is strong enough to do anything, but like, I feel so pissed. Oh, it's the delayed effect. It not only explodes, but it's gonna explode afterwards as well, right? I genuinely believe what he's saying when he says that 1,000%. I don't even feel bad either. I'm down. Let's go kill Mahito. Like, I would feel bad for a lot of, like, if we had to kill Junpei, I would feel horrible. But Mahito, let's do it right now. I'll, I'll help you. Oh, my God. Look at my boy. Such creative fighting can be done with Mahito as well because he can transform his body any which way. Oh my 
god. First off, this animation is fucking snapping. Like I said, he can have such creative fights because of that power. I love that. Of course, why would we grab that when he can even manipulate that to make spikes? That is so crazy, but we don't give a fuck. We're still pulling you. So he has limits to what he can expand on his body, which I didn't I didn't even talk about this last episode, which I definitely should have. But his Mahito's fight with Nanami gave Mahito a lot of because Nanami made a very clear point to say that Mahito is a very young curse, you know, very childish in certain ways. So Mahito being able to experiment with his own body during the Nanami fight is actually worse for Yuji here because he knows the he knows a lot more of the limits of his body now you know like oh it's imagine being oh that's so crazy he's still experimenting with his own powers bro he's still so weak he has so much potential but what do you do when he can do that out of his body like I'm saying he is so strong when you think about it It's like when you touch the Ninetales Fox, sometimes it doesn't want you to fucking touch it. <laughs> sometimes it says, fuck you! It's so bright outside. This is like Tanjiro on crack! My fucking boy. Yep, the idol transfiguration. It's actually a mix of both, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I'm pretty sure it's a mix of both. So Yuji's gonna have to be the one to kill him. We'll shower him with blows. Hell yeah. Yes, sir! Don't end. Oh, I'm gonna be so... So, another absolutely amazing episode. I didn't write anything down, but I just gotta say, if this show seriously, like, if, if Junpei does not somehow get revived and join the team as a Jujutsu Sorcerer, I... I'm going to be unbelievably upset. Like, I really thoroughly enjoyed Junpei's character, and for him to die like that, for him to finally realize Mahito is a piece of shit, and then Mahito just do that to him immediately, say you're even more foolish than the ones you called fools or whatever. You're just piece of shit, Mahito. Like, I'm so down for Yuji to absolutely destroy him. I think the only thing I liked I hate Sakuna too. Sakuna's also a piece of shit, but the only thing I like about Sakuna in this episode was that him and Maito had that laugh, but then Maito thought they were cool because they <laughs> had a laugh together. So he came in here and he's like, all right, I'll give you this one warning. You know your place. You do this again, I'm fucking you up. You know, and he kicked him out of his body immediately. I'm just like, this man, Mahito is crazy. The way he, the, the fights he has are so creative because of his transfiguration. He can make wings, he can make hoofs to go faster, he can make his arm bigger, he can make it into blades, he can make it into a drill, he can make spikes off. Like, it's so creative and it's crazy. And it would make sense how Yuji is able to, like, be his counter because not only because he's actively aware of him being able to change or be able to to know what souls are like but because he has another soul living in you so it would make sense that you would know at least more than the average person what you know having a soul is and stuff like that so it's like i like that aspect a lot <sighs> i'm so glad nanami came back bro he's my fucking boy and we're gonna shower him with blows and exercise this curse fuck yeah he's my guy I love Junpei's shikigami nah there's no way he's gonna die they just introduced his cool ass shikigami moon dregs so cool so dope it can be defensive it can absorb its blows it can be offensive like it's oh man it's so cool uh, i love the conversation we had with junpei 
Like Yuji found out about his mom and just wanted to genuinely be there. He said, come to the school. We have some home. It's bro. This episode was heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I just got to watch this next one, man. I don't know. Let's find out what these guys I want. I, just, I need to know what happens. I need to know what happens. Uh, okay, I think on that note, I am going to end it here, though, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. Let me know what you thought. I love this episode oh so very much. Oh, this show is so immaculately amazing, but it's just so heartbreaking at the same time. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Like always, I'll catch you in this next episode. Peace out, Dapper Squad. I'll catch you. Peace out.